Kate is a local survivor of domestic violence. I didn't feel like I deserved anything better than that. She was with her abuser for two years. What sort of violence were you subjected to? I had been put in the, admitted to the hospital on three different occasions um, with a broken nose, um, busted eardrum. Her situation reached a breaking point at the start of the pandemic. There was nothing available because of COVID. So many people aren't aware that there is help available. Erica Pruitt is director of Multnomah County's Department of Community Justice. Last year, its Victim and Survivor Services Unit helped about 500 people impacted by some kind of violence. She says that need is growing. And this is particularly true right now as it pertains to gun violence. The program is receiving an extra $93,000 through the American Rescue Plan. That money will boost the notification system for survivors so they know the status of their aggressor through the courts. Why is it so important now to have this? We're seeing people being isolated coming out of a pandemic and needing support and needing connection. Separate funding also helps survivors and their families back on their feet through food and rent assistance and referrals to other wellness services. Finally, I had enough. Kate escaped her abuser and got help through the county. Her message to others now. There is hope. Just reach out. Keep reaching out. Don't give up. Hold on to the light. Galen Etlin, KGW News.